Hi guys, it's Alice. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be making a Mabon butternut squash soup. So straight into it, we are going to need one onion, one large butternut squash, three carrots, two cloves of garlic, some vegetable stock, apple sauce, coconut cream and sunflower spread. So, clearing the table. We're going to go straight in to cutting this butternut squash in half. Um, we're going to roast it because it will make it easier to scoop out later on. Um, this is incredibly hard to cut. It is very thick. So if you need help, please get help. I wish I had it. Traditionally, Mabon is a great time to show off how well the crops have done. So really, there's no better way than to celebrate with eating food. Cool. So we're now going to scoop out the insides gonna get a spoon and get a bowl it's gonna get messy but have fun with it use your hands use a spoon use whatever you want it's a bit like pumpkin carving but um not <laughs> but however pumpkin carving's coming up so it's good practice cool once we've got those we're getting some sunflower spread um i probably used a bit too much i didn't really weigh this i just eyed on what i thought would be best um just smothered it a bit because obviously it's gonna be roasting so i wanted to let it seep into the squash a bit it's gonna get messy. <laughs> this oven has been preheated to 190 Celsius or 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, these are gonna probably pop in for about 45 minutes now. So we're gonna say goodbye to them. Bye. And start with the other veg. So we're gonna start with the onion um, and we're probably gonna struggle because even though we're an adult, onions still make us cry and we can't cut them but remember onions can't hurt your feelings guys it's okay let the tears flow <laughs> so it's also a great time to be eating root veggies which is pretty much what this entire soup contains um so yeah if you want to add different vegetables feel free this is just me winging it um i'm not a professional cook i don't know what i'm doing i just like food um who doesn't so just go in with whatever you like and whatever you fancy. I'm gonna crush these little cloves of garlic, chop them up a little bit, and they're gonna go into the pan as well. Again, I can't cut things very well, guys. But it's okay, who cares? It's gonna be blended anyway, it's a soup. <laughs> and then all we've got left after that is our carrots. Um, I don't know why, but it was really hard to peel the carrots, which not many people struggle with, but clearly I did. Um, I don't know why I chose three. Four seemed like too much, and two seemed like not enough. So yeah, I went with three. Um, and we're just gonna dice them and chuck them into the pan as well. And everything's just gonna pretty much simmer in that pan. So add that whole jar of apple sauce. Apple is a really good ingredient for Mabon. You can do so much with it. Obviously you could make your own sauce if you wanted to. I just went cheap. We're gonna make the vegetable stock. This was about 450 milliliters of water. Um, boiled water, obviously let the vegetable stock dissolve and then just pour it into the pan. And that is all gonna go in on a low heat. Oh yeah, don't forget the coconut cream. I just give it a splash. We're gonna use some later on, so just a splash. Low heat, see you later. Oh hello, butternut squash. Yum yum. Now we're going to go on to making a sigil for our soup. So I wrote out my affirmation, um, which was thank you, Mother Earth. It is a great time to show gratitude and give thanks. So this is what I chose to go with. So what we're going to go do is go through the sentence that I have wrote and remove all the vowels. Um, and then after that, we're going to go through it again and remove any repeated letters. This just makes it a bit shorter and easier to work with. I found this method on Pinterest, but there are many other methods and you can do it any way you like. Cool, so we're gonna take that and I wrote it down the bottom um, as we're gonna use these letters to basically give numbers. We're gonna assign the letters with numbers from the grid above um, and just go in letter by letter and column by column will give us our little number sequence which we will then take over to the little circle on the right hand side. With this, it was just randomly wrote out um, and we just connect from one number to the next. Going through this grid, it will make a little pattern um, and that little pattern is gonna be your sigil. 
Um, I'm a bit of a perfectionist, so I drew this out a couple times and I did what kind of looked right to me. Um, again, you can do whatever you want. This is your sigil with your affirmation and it means you can have fun with it as long as it feels right for you. So yeah, just have some fun with it, add some dots, add some squiggles, do whatever you want. Cool, here's my little finished one. I'm gonna keep him aside for later because we're gonna be using that with some more coconut cream. Cool. So the butternut squashes are done. They're coming out of the oven. They look juicy as heck and they smell so good. We're gonna pour that sunflower spread off. Um, these are incredibly hot. I would recommend waiting. Wait till they have cooled down. I did not wait. I burnt myself. Ready? Oh, there it is. Ow. <laughs> um, yeah, it hurt. It was really hot. So please wait for them to cool down. So yeah, they're all pretty much scooped out. Get as much as you possibly can. We're gonna scoop that into the blender. Um, my blender isn't a very powerful one, as you're about to see. I put it on and nothing absolutely nothing <laughs> um so i went ahead and got uh it's like a little tool to poke it in and push it into the blades a bit more um which helped a bit obviously you might not need this if you've actually got a better blender than me but here we are stuff happens the colors of mabon are traditionally green red orange yellow brown and gold so we are really hitting that with this soup look at that color bam That is all gonna go into the soup, all into the pot. Scoop all of it out. And that's just gonna simmer again. I didn't really time it accurately. It was about 10, 15 minutes just to let it all properly mix in well together. And we wanna get everything mixed in well before we blend it back together again. Low heat, some seasoning and let it do its thing. Ooh, so we're going to pour that back into the blender. Look at the mess I have made. It's okay. Make mess. You're going to have some fun. <laughs> there is no way to do this clean at all. Like no possible way. <laughs> Keep it going. And now try and pour it like you're a professional. But um, you're really not. So it just comes pouring out. Just let it do its thing. Look at that color, so bright. Cool, I am pouring the coconut cream into a little syringe. I wasn't really sure how I was gonna draw it, so this is what I went with. Um, and I just put my finger over it to hold it in. And then I kind of just copied my drawing that I did on the piece of paper in front of me. I think I changed it a little bit as I was doing it, just cause it was what was easiest for my hand. I'm trying to make it look fancy. And this is pretty much our soup, so let's give it a little try. Okay, now I've cooked this, I'm going to give it a good try. I have got myself some dippy bread um, with some sunflower spread on that as well. So I've cooked myself in and then I'll give it a little go, see what it's like. Good. I'm not just saying that. It is good. It's um hard to describe. I didn't do tomatoes in it, but it almost looks like tomato soup. But like spicy. Um I'm not sure if that's just because of like the onion and garlic maybe. I don't know. I'm not too sure on this kind of stuff. Um, mm, really good, really good bread. Um, I definitely do this again. I'm glad I got like a big bag. Um, because it's gonna be really good for like cold evenings and nights, or even just to take to work the next day, which is probably what I'm gonna do tomorrow. 
I'm definitely going to have this tomorrow at work. Um, right now, my partner is eating some as well. So, it can't be that shit. Um, so, yeah. Until next time, guys. Thanks and bye.